Hi, I'm Trish Rock from NailSalonSuccessCoach.com and I'm the creator of the Gloss System, Five Steps to Nail Salon Success. This is training session four and it's all about salon shine. So welcome to this training session. This is session four in a series of five and I hope that you will be gaining valuable knowledge and put this information into practice in your nail salon. The techniques and systems I'm going to teach you are the same methods I have used to build successful salons over the past 30 years in the nail industry. And I want to share this knowledge with you because I want you to be highly successful too. So let's get started with the three areas that we are going to explore together today. Now salon shine, there are many areas in your nail salon that need that sensational salon shine to really stand out. Today in this, the fourth training session, I'm going to look at three areas in particular that will give you a competitive advantage. And those three areas are salon atmosphere, trade shows and nail competitions, and charging what you are worth. Now your salon atmosphere, the atmosphere of a nail salon will honestly will make or break a salon. I've been in many salons where as soon as you walk in, you just want to turn around and walk out. I can bet this has happened to you too, right? So what is the problem here? Well, your clients have to be engaged as soon as they walk, as soon as they walk in. And it's through all of their senses that you can do this. Sight, smell, touch, hearing and taste are all vital elements that must be addressed when creating your salon atmosphere. Here's an example in each of these five areas. Smell. You could have beautiful oils burning in your salon. Now I'll give you a, a, a hint here, not only does this make your salon smell fabulous, but the smell actually goes outside the salon as well. And sometimes people can smell that before they even get up to your salon and they wonder where the smell's coming from. So have some really lovely, good quality oils burning in your salon. And make sure you offer your clients refreshments. And I know this seems a basic uh, thing and everyone says, well, all salons do that. Well, let me assure you that not all salons do this. And this will set you apart from some of the other, other salons. So make sure you offer refreshments and you can add a chocolate with it or, or whatever. But just make sure that you offer your clients something. Now, when they're sitting there at your table, they need to be touching something nice. And so always make sure they've got a nice, there's a nice towel on the table. Um, you could uh, use the soft landings towels, which are fantastic. You can um, find the link to those on my website. And basically just give them a nice luxurious feel to um, their appointment. Now your salon has to be warm and inviting and welcoming when the client walks in. There's a fine line sometimes between having a, a really nice, clean, sterile salon to having uh, those same qualities, but in a more warm and welcoming manner. So just have a look at your salon and it needs to look inviting and feel inviting. And the last of the senses is hearing. Now you really need to have some music uh, in your salon. Depending on the type of clients that you have and the atmosphere that you want, that will depend on what music you choose. So if you have younger clients, you might like a more upbeat sort of music. Uh, if you have more of a relaxing manicure, pedicure type salon, I would go for more relaxing music. So that will just depend on your salon, but it definitely have to have something going on in the background in your salon to give it the total atmosphere. Now, the second thing I want to discuss today is trade shows and nail comps. Now, this is an area that frightens many nail techs. But I want to say this to you, it is really important to network and get involved at these events. And I'm going to give you two really good reasons why. 
Now the first one is not only will you meet amazing people at the trade shows, but you will learn a lot of new techniques, you'll discover new products, and you'll start relationships with your suppliers, with the trainers, and with the nail industry leaders. Now this is important for later on if you ever need any advice or help. And just the fact that you will be attending an, a trade show actually says to your clients that you are first of all interested in being the best nail technician you can be. Secondly, that you are committed to learning more about your your trade and, um, and, and increasing your skills. And thirdly, they will feel that you are just the best person who could be doing their nails. And this, this will actually set you above some of the other salons in the area that don't go to trade shows. Um, so let your clients know that you're going, make an effort to go and honestly, it will be really, really great uh, as far as your skills and information that you learn at the shows, but it will really put you in high standing with your clients as well. Now the nail competitions, as scary as they seem at first, they really are a great way to improve your skills and your client base. So how? Well, just by entering a nail competition gives you the edge over many other salons in your area that are not entering. And this in turn gives your clients confidence in you. Now, I remember when I first started entering nail competitions, of course I was petrified. And, uh, and nothing happened, you know, I didn't place anywhere in the first competition, but I didn't give up because I learned a lot in that first competition. And I picked up new skills. Uh, and remember the competition nails are very different to salon nails. So it's something you have to learn and it increases your overall confidence, your overall skill base and it increases your client's confidence in you. So I really want to impress on, impress on you that competitions are worth entering and uh, whether you win or not, you are still a winner. So if you compete, win or lose, you will be a winner in the eyes of your clients. And as you know, word of mouth is an amazing tool to grow your business. So let's say your friends are talking, uh, your clients are talking together in a group of friends and one of them is talking about her nail tech who doesn't compete and the other one is talking about you and you do compete. You are going to come off better every time. And then if you do enter the competition and you do win, well that just gives you an amazing opportunity to tell the world about your salon through different marketing methods. So well worth going to the trade shows and just compete in a competition. Do it once, you'll get over your nerves and uh, you'll absolutely love it. Now the third area I want, to, I want to talk to you today about is charging what you're, you are worth. Now this is an area that is of great concern in some salons and I want to impress on you why it is so important to charge the correct prices. Now firstly, if you think you have to lower your prices to compete with the fast nail bars, then you need to change your thinking. By lowering your prices, it gives the impression that your service is the same standard as those salons. Charge the prices you want to charge, and not only will you get respect from your clients, but you will get more clients. The clients that come into your salon, if you've taken the correct steps to be unique and set the atmosphere of your salon and do the training to be the best in your area, these clients will absolutely know they're getting quality treatments and services. They will be happy to pay for this quality. So don't be frightened to, to uh, look at your prices and charge what you're worth. Now the clients that just want a fast, easy solution to nail services and don't want to talk or interact and don't want the experience basically, they will go to the other nail bars and that's fine. There are plenty of other clients that will be attracted to your salon 
and who you will absolutely love to have in your salon as regular clients. You don't need everybody to come in. You're not going to please everybody and you're not going to attract everybody. So set your salon up to attract the clients that you want to attract and don't worry about the other ones. And one last word on charging what you are worth. Being a nail tech is not always an easy profession. Emotionally and physically, we are put to the test each day. You need to be earning an income that supports the work that you do, all the education that you undertake and the skills that you have developed. So decide what you want to earn each day as a nail technician and adjust your prices, uh, learn the skills and introduce the services into your salon that will reflect uh, that income that you want to earn. Now Salon Shine is definitely something you can achieve in your salon. Follow these steps that I've given you today in this free training and you will be on your way to success. Salon Shine and exactly how to get it step by step is fully explained in the Gloss System Home Study course. With full email and mentoring support, this system will have your salon growing and your turnover increasing. For more information on the Gloss system, you can go to nailsalonsuccesscoach.com forward slash gloss or just click the link on this page. So thank you so much for watching this uh, free training and I look forward to sharing the next training with you very soon. If you'd like to contact me, go to the website at nailsalonsuccesscoach.com or you can email me at trish at nailsalonsuccesscoach.com and you can find me and a fantastic community of people at Facebook on Nail Salon Success. And you can just click on these links here to take you to those pages. So I really look forward to uh, working with you and getting to know you and uh, I look forward to catching up with you on the next training.